Morning all, I have a new toy, it's not this one, this is my old Gal uh, sorry, Samsung A3 2016, which I'm going to re be reviewing, currently it's just loading up, uh, there you go, <coughs> so, um, what can I say about the A3, the A3 has got the usual things like expandable memory, it's got all the bells and whistles, so like um, the phone, the, uh, sorry, the camera on it is set to, I believe, 5 megapixels, 5 meg, don't quote me on that one. Um, currently, I am recording this on my new phone, which is the A6, um, and I'm going to do a different comparison on both so we can see if there is one. Okay. Um, currently, I'm in camera mode, as you can see. Um, what else can I tell you? So, it's got set as standard. I'm moving around a lot because I'm trying to find a good spot of sun. So, it's got things like, um, you know, phone, text, contacts, internet, like usual stuff. And then, uh, preset. Well, actually, I'll show you. This is my old home screen. This is some of it because I've actually um, uninstalled most of it so I can... Uh, what you got? I'm giving this phone to my dad. So, this phone... It's got the basics on there. So as you can see, you've got uh, all the Sam top left. So where my thumb is, that's the Samsung apps, Google apps, Microsoft apps. So Office and that sort of stuff. Play Store, phone, messages, camera, gallery. Uh, actually, I'll show you a picture from the gallery. This is one that it just took, and that's the difference. Now I took all my holiday photos from this year on this phone. Then I got the one I'm on now, about a week ago. So the quality of this is actually pretty good. All the videos that I've done in the last month have actually been on my old phone. So, okay, uh, actually on my old phone. So everything from all my reviews that I did, like the big bunch of 12 that I had, that were, they were all done via this. So that's what the video quality looks like. Um, what else we got? Clock, context. Settings, calendar, cal calculator, memo, Samsung Music, which is empty. Uh, radio, voice search, video, battery widget, a converter, connected to my uh, printer, Shazam, Translate, and WhatsApp. Now, like I said, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a bunch of videos and pictures, and I'm going to put them side, if I can figure out how to put them side by side, then you'll see what this actually looks like as, as it's different. So now I'm going to swap over to this phone, so you can see what this looks like. So this is the A3 and this is my new phone. This is the A6. Now the difference between this one and the A3 is that this is an infinity screen and it's only got the power switch and the volume switch. Whereas my old phone, it's still got the power and the volume but on the bottom is actually got, a, which will actually be about here, is actually a uh, physical home button that's something I haven't quite gotten used to yet because every time I go to when I'm at work and I'm listening to music on this phone <clears throat> well when I used to have it at work um, I could just tap it and I could see what the time was and then that would be that but with my new phone because there's no uh, physical home button down here I have to keep pressing this one and I keep forgetting so for instance okay so as I said it's an infinity screen one thing me and my wife have been have discussed before is the fact that has anyone ever noticed that new phones have got that like on the back of this because this doesn't have a case yet and got that hopefully arriving in the next day or so. Um, all the backs of these are really smooth, so when you come and pick it up, it just does this the whole time. It just slides out your hand. No double entendre or euphemisms there. Now with this phone. Um, I actually don't know a huge amount about it yet. Um, like I said, I've only had it for a week and I've not really had a chance to really properly play around in I've done a lot of the, set, the um, apps and everything and put back in. So, for instance, on here, there you, go. you can see how much clearer the quality of this is. And, hang on. What the hell? Sorry, my hand seems to be shaking me badly. So those are the apps I've got on there. And then this one, I actually have to swipe up and down to get to my apps. 
So I've sorted everything out so it's where I like it. There you go. Um, so with this one, uh, the quality on this one, the music quality is a hell of a clear. Listen. Right, that's about as much as I'm allowed to play before copyright kicks in. Um, <clears throat> the video quality you've just seen from um, me doing the other one. Now I'm going to swap back and then we'll start doing sort of comparisons. So, as I was saying, and I've had to move location and about 12 hours ahead, um, I've played the music from the A6, which is the one I'm currently on. Now I'm going to that was um, a Queen track, uh, Don't Stop Me Now, which is what I'm about to play on this, which is the A3, so you can hear the difference. Now, to me, I'll rephrase this, from my point of view, they sound totally different because of the way I, my hearing's built. Um, for future reference, go look at my first video about nerve deafness. <clears throat> but the second part is that um, the A6, which I'm currently recording on, uh, the speakers are in it, the speakers on it are far better and more accurately, they're in a different spot. So you get a, bet um, you get a better kind of perception of it, as well as um, it's got surround sound and Dolby on it, it's actually got an app on here called, sorry I'm just going to have a, uh, da, 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 Dolby Atmos, which I currently haven't in, um, turned on, because the quality of it is so good without it, but I've got it set on um, what would be stereo at the moment. Now, the other thing is as well is, on this, this my A3, the speaker is actually here, However, on the A6, it's actually up here. So that took a little getting used to. Um, and also, as I've said before, this one is just a standard screen with the home button down here. I just press it and up it comes. Whereas my new phone, because it's an infinity screen, which the button is here, as I, it was the opposite side, obviously, the, um, it's infinity screen, so there's no physical switch for me to actually press. That is a bit of a downside, so like I said in the previous bit, every time I wanted to do something, I just pressed that and off it came. But on this one, because I have to keep pressing this, the button does feel a bit fiddly, I will give it that, but I think that's just the fact that I've been used to having my previous one. This is only a week old, as of tomorrow. Or today, which is Saturday when you watch this, but it's actually Friday night for me, hence the outside light. Um, the other thing my current phone has that the other one doesn't, uh, aside from settings wise, is um, the screen quality is much clearer and yeah, the screen quality is clearer um, I can change it to uh, blue mode so when um, it gets down to night time instead of being up at like you know midnight um, sitting in the dark looking at your phone which is bad for your eyes, I can now do that which previously I wasn't able to. Um, <clears throat> the Samsung Cloud actually works on this so for instance my previous phone uh, when the update came through um, the backup, the, what was it, not backup page, um, home page has for some unknown reason defaulted back to this not my, that's my cat by the way it's defaulted to this layout and ever since then I was having to restore it back every sort of two three times a day whereas the one I'm on now it's set to that so I don't know if it was a bug or if it was just um, my phone just couldn't handle it you know I went through everything I could think of and uh, it seemed to have stuck um, there's obviously a size difference, so this one compared to my new phone is probably about three, maybe four mil longer, uh, width pretty much the same, 
by maybe actually it's probably about a mil either sort of width wise and probably about three in length so there's that uh, yeah there's Voltron in the background up there just quickly show you if you're interested my Voltron lines anyway um, the other thing as well is um, uh, sorry I'm holding on to my phone whilst I do this um, the battery life on the, on my current phone is a hell of a lot better um, because for instance I charged this last night and it's now down to 60% my previous phone that would be down to about 20 by the time I go to bed and that's usually about half 10 11 o'clock um, so the battery on this is much better um, all in all I'm quite glad I got an upgrade now rather than just sticking to my current phone because I wasn't it is actually a very good this is a very good phone but my new one is better so um, if you're after that if you're after a new phone I would seriously suggest getting this one and the way that the lady in uh, car phone explained it to me with regarding um, Samsung's for people who don't know there are kind of three tiers so A is the bottom S is sorry uh, no sorry J is the bottom A is middle and S is top and I've gone for the middle one because I had an A3 and this I've gone for an, a middle class because of A the plan I got so with this one it's £28 a month and I get 4 gig worth of data blah 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 previously I was getting 2 gig and it was costing me about £35 so that's that and if I got the um, the J it was still working out more so this has actually worked out massively in my favour um, I should also point out the uh, thickness of this phone this is actually for a, for a phone it's actually quite I, don't know, I wouldn't say it was too thick but my new one is pro is about half the thickness but um, the difference being obviously it's had to be made slightly longer to fit in that fact but because of the size that's not actually that much of an issue um, aside from the fact that they're all soft on the back so more smooth so they just slide around your desk and earlier on when I was at work I thought I'd scratch the back and it turned out it was chocolate it was a free day so if like I said you want to get a phone um, that isn't an iPhone I would recommend this um, well, installing it onto my previous apps was an absolute doddle um, because my one didn't require this phone didn't require me to um, get a new SIM card they just re swapped the one I had existing because said, well, what's the point in changing it so everything actually I'll rephrase that everything with the exception of one which was my um, kind of no, not no, um, oh, what's it called? My password saver program. That took a bit of mucking around to get everything put in because I cannot be bothered to rewrite everything. Um, but everything else seems to have installed perfectly fine. I uh, managed to get my printer to reconnect to my phone, and that the first time around took ages because it just far asked. Whereas this Ducci just turned it on, told it what printer one. I don't know if it's just picking up the details from my SIM card. I don't know enough about this, but that's my guess. Uh, it connects to my computer pretty easily. I've and so did my um, my A3. I had an S5 Mini beforehand, and that one always struggled to connect. You know, plug it in, plug it out, plug it in, plug it out. Um, so yeah. Um, if there's anything else I'll put it on but apart from that this is a very decent phone um, I would thoroughly recommend it and I'm gonna go and have a shower so if you think I've wasted your time so that's your choice if not I will see you when I do my next video until then